Uh, let's get right to the story this morning. Of course, the story is, well, everything going on in terms of the Fed and the Treasury, the efforts, of course, to stimulate an economy that is in free fall. And Jim, you just got off a call or an interview, I should say. It was a call as well with Secretary Mnuchin. What stood out for you from his comments? Uh, that you shouldn't lay people off. Uh, and I want to point out that he did just, uh, just got a correction here. He said on small business payroll, two weeks, but he meant two months. I think that's important because two months means you do not lay people off without, I think, uh, I'm not saying it's irresponsible, but I do think that, the, that everything is being done to keep businesses open, small businesses open. David, uh, with the Fed, I think they've taken off, to me, anything involving credit, I think that the secretary Mnuchin right. talked about anything involving liquidity. Of course, David, we can't produce demand. And that's why you, you keep people no. around for two months, but they are not going to be able to produce any demand. So I think it is still going to be a burden on small business. Not really sure how that's going to be resolved. Yeah, that's a, that's an interesting point. Of course, Jim, we did. Uh, we were watching the futures, which appeared to be limit down at different points in the evening last night after, of course, Japan opened as well. Then we got a Fed announcement uh, this morning, uh, just to go quickly into it, of course, taking off the size limit in terms of the amount of treasuries and mortgage-backed securities they're buying. And I think importantly as well, this direct business uh, Main Street lending program to support lending to eligible small and medium-sized businesses, complementing efforts by the SBA. How important is that, in your opinion? I think, look, in the end, our economy uh, is small business. In the end, those are the people that, that really are trying to figure out whether to open or close. Uh, you can't be thinking about just now. You need to be thinking about when we beat this. If you wipe out small business, then the whole country is going to be run by Amazon and Walmart. We can't have that happen. The restaurant industry will not really survive. Now, remember, 50, we got more than 50 million people in service, David, and most of them do not work at yeah. Walmart. So I think it is just really important to be able to make it so that the average working person gets a, keeps the job. And that means you have to give the small business person money. And, and I think that the Dems and the Republicans favor that. Not really sure. I would love to be able to hear from Speaker Pelosi and, and from Senator Schumer how far apart they are, because, boy, Secretary Mnuchin indicates that they're very, very close. Yeah, well, time is of the essence, as we know, uh, and as, as we know from, uh, of course, watching the markets as well. The reversal today certainly is on the Fed. The expectation is, as you say, that we're going to get something out of the Congress in the near term. And, Jim, just to your point, and I'm sure you had these conversations. I certainly did over the course of the weekend with a lot of different people who run businesses, typically larger ones. But, you know, everybody's trying to figure out a day by which, all right, this is my first layoff round, and that's coming this week, most likely, is what I've been hearing. This would be my second, because my sales are down 40 50, 60 percent, and I know how long I can go. I mean, this is happening in real time, and those layoffs are occurring in real time. And that's not to mention, of course, as you point out, the person, you know, the, the, the small businesses, whether it's the person who works at a hair salon or a nail salon, the dog walkers, the restaurant workers, the garage attendants, the personal trainers and gym employees, and on and on and on, all those people who aren't working right now. Boy, you have a right, David. I mean, I think that we all have a common uh, one thing in common in this country, which is that the person, the dry cleaner, where we get our hair cut, uh, where we uh, try to help local. It is. I mean, I, I try look, I live in Summit, New Jersey. We're trying to figure out this weekend. How do we help local? Because every business is closed. And it sounds like that the Treasury Secretary understands that. I have to believe that Senator Schumer and Speaker Pelosi understand that. That's why I don't think that far apart. I would hate to see. Look, we had the first member TARP. We had the failed vote this weekend. I think that that sent the market down limit. And I know that it's also creating such havoc that we're going to get the layoff announcements today. I expect big layoff announcements in the, in the next half hour. But the one thing that we know can happen, David, is if they come together and make it so the small business feels like, OK, at least I can take care of payroll. The next thing will be rent. We have to be sure that there is uh, an, it, some sort of forgiveness on rent or else you'll say, well, look, I, it's yes. not worth the effort. I sure hope that that isn't the case.